This is the best way to beat Arnie Ethel. Shout out to Reddit users Weirdo That and Heels for Nudes for the help here. Doing this, we can save Marina, the masks, and get the hags here for that juicy plus one to any attribute. Now I've done this with a Starion as my initiator, but you can use anyone as long as they have invisibility and a higher initiative than Ethel. We've put Gale just behind a Starion here in hiding because he's going to be our assassin. No, God, please, no! Once you have a Starion and Gale in place and hiding, activate invisibility and hit the orange orb to release Marina. Now try and position a Starion on this ledge, facing the bridge. This is exactly what we want. Ethel has appeared and we're going first. On your first turn, you have two objectives. Do as much damage as possible and silence Ethel. That bit's really important. I've brought two ways to silence her just in case. The first, and luckily we hit it here, is the Susa Dagger Silence. I also have silence on Shadowheart. Let's bring Shadowheart and our main character in now. So switch to hiding and turn off both the torches. Keep sneaking right up behind Ethel and use your highest damage attack to hit her. No, that's a lot of damage! We'll move Gale up a little bit too. Switch to your main character and let's do the same thing. Sneak up on Ethel and use your highest damage attack on her. You can end your first turn now, and we only want to silence Ethel until she is below 10 HP. Because Ethel is below 10 HP, and we want to do this the best way, we can't hit her. Instead, do any healing or buffing, and make sure your assassin can still reach Ethel, and then end your turn. If you didn't end them in the previous room, Ethel will summon her goons this turn. In the top left, you'll notice we passed a stealth check. We need to pass that stealth check. End turn until Ethel pops up with a cutscene. Wait. Oh, wait just a tick. Go through until you get the option to demand both the power and Marina's freedom, and you'll have to pass a roll here. When we get the option to say goodbye to Arnie Ethel, we want to hold her at this dialogue and switch to our assassin, Gale. Pick the attribute you want and blast Ethel to the Nine Hells. We've now successfully saved Marina and the Masks, finishing the hag off in the process. The only downside is that you can't loot the hag's body. If you found this video helpful at all, please drop a like and subscribe for more. I don't know if it would be kind to put these guys out of their misery or not, to be honest.